Greetings, my people. Greetings to everybody. Please welcome to Middle African Television. I am your host, Zebedi Korea. On today's program, I'm going to discuss about the vice presidential debate that took place this year in Nigeria. You know, following the debate that is being held in Nigeria, you will know that Nigeria is moving to the right direction. You know, following the normal step um, before elections, in like the way advanced world normally does it. But the issue there is this: <laughs> um, after the vice presidential debate, are they going to have the main presidential debate or the electoral commission or those organizing the debate will now tell the people that the vice presidential debate? has covered the entire debate that's supposed to be held in Nigeria which is not normal that way you know because uh, <laughs> we know the reason why most of them would like to um, do away with the presidential debate because those we talk say they want rulers to rule over the people most of them doesn't even know the affairs and what is going in Nigeria or how things are going on in Nigeria so let us not not make mistakes but as we the ordinary people we have every right to demand for presidential debate as far as they have bring, brought out this um, uh, step in hosting this um, uh, vice presidential debate we know that vice president in nigeria has no power so um following the um, debate i will just um, do some analysis on the issues they discuss and the, the points they make and uh, I will air my own view you know to you people and uh, everybody have his own way of saying things so first of all let me add again welcome to Miro African Television if you are joining this channel for the first time this is Miro African Television. Miro African Television is not an organization nor a group. It's just Miro. When looking at Miro Africa, you see yourself. And uh, we are not biased. We hit the bullet at the right place. Many may love us because of it. Many may hate me because of it. But uh, that is Miro Africa for you. You know. So the only thing you will do for me is to click that button of subscribe and uh, there is one small bell after subscription click on that bell so that you will be getting notification whenever i am on air and uh, i will still be doing videos that will be going on petrol so today's program got to go this way um the main dominance of that debate on that day that's uh, P2B and uh, the current Nigerian vice president I don't know his name I know his name but I do forget his name you know because uh, the man is always like I wonder you know so um, let's focus fighting corruption in Nigeria Every time Nigerians are doing or uh, starting their election, you will be hearing from every pol political party in Nigeria discussing, talking about corruption, how to fight corruption, how to uproot corruption, how to destroy corruption. I don't think that corruption destruction or destroying or uprooting corruption in Nigerian system should be the affairs of the political elite or those campaigning many may ask me why should you say that uh, is the president it's not the president that should be fighting corruption <laughs> and it's not the duty of the vice president to fight corruption rather if nigeria really want to fight corruption nigerians got to come together review the constitution of nigeria and give the nigerian judicial system the right to operate independently 
without the concept of the president or the influence of the presidency. So that this thing calling corruption shouldn't be the affairs of all the issues that, that they should be using to, to do campaign. Any developing countries never discuss corruption on open air, how their country are corrupt, whatever. Every country has, cor has, has the issue pertaining corruption. Every country is fighting corruption through one or the other. How many are you going to mention? Are you going to nail only the one that, that happened during the particular parties that are ruling Nigeria? That one is the corruption. And the one that happened when the other ones are ruling that one? No, there are a bunch of corruption. Both the elites that are in the country, they are also corrupt. The masses are corrupt. A lot of corruption does, does occur. So my own view on this uh, section is let our judicial system be independent and uproot the power of police and forces in Nigeria from the order of the presidency and plug it under the, under the power of judiciary so that they will be efficient and work more perfectly. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.